friends good morning here i am going to discuss about uh, discuss the interview questions from digital electronics uh, i earlier discussed the interview questions from c c++ uh, and a bit of uh, embedded systems networking and it's turn for digital electronics no and it's a very important topic for all of us to uh, really answer the interview as well and digital electronics is uh, um, actually having a, a misconception among the students that it is needed only for uh, EEE C and E and I no it's not the case it's needed for uh, computer science also when it comes to basics uh, computer science students are expected to answer these questions as well so i made it very simple and all the questions are very fundamental i have marked l1 l2 in the bracket saying the difficulty levels l1 l2 l3 l4 something like that so you can and try answering the question right away when i put the question if you are answering that means that you are good in the fundamentals what is de morgan law a b bar equal to a bar plus b bar a plus b the whole bar equal to a bar dot b bar so please remember it is such a fundamental question how can the four bit binary sequence be referred as it is nothing but 8421 code this is the bible for uh, digital electronics please remember 8421 code uh, if you want to uh, write anything in binary you will have to go with this for example to represent 7 i need to put 111 under 421 so that will get 0111 that is 7 so that's how i need to write so please remember it what is the conventional logic system the conventional logic system is always high is equal to 1 low equal to 0 that's what we are being taught that's what we are using uh, for a long time so that is referred as conventional logic system now what are the values that are associated with boolean algebra boolean algebra is 100% connected only to zeros and ones what is ttl state the voltage ranges for ttl values ttl stands for transistor transistor logic this this was invented much later than many of the electronic stuff were invented so there were something like rs232 which are not ttl compatible you need not uh, really uh, think that ttl is uh, there for long time in existence and everything is ttl compatible no ttl compatibility is not there for some something like rs232 which we are very familiar with so ttl stands for transistor transistor logic according to this uh, logic ranges i mean this uh, standards the logic high will be from 2 volt to 5 volt where logic low will be from 0 volts to 0.8 volts please remember logic high is 2 to 5 logic low is 0.0 to 0.8 what a cmos stands for what are the voltage states voltage ranges defined by cmos standards cmos is nothing but complementary metal oxide semiconductor complementary metal oxide semiconductor in this logic the high voltage range is always 3.5 to 5 volt whereas the low is between 0 to 1.5 volts please remember there are two types of voltage ranges one is ttl logic another one is cmos cmos is complementary metal oxide where ttl is transistor transistor logic there the voltage range is 2 to 5 and 0 to 0.8 here it is 3.5 to 5 and 0 to 1.5 please remember it name three basic logic operations it's very simple Na- not and or uh, sir can i not call xor as a basic operation no you need to call these three as basic operations because these are the ones which led to the growth of rest of the uh, operations that rest of the logic is that we are be, we have been using for a long time draw an electrical circuit equivalent for nand gate not gate not is nothing but inverter not is inverter so the electrical equivalent of the not gate is presented here and uh, this is how it works so you need to remember it there is no other go um, if you guys can recollect how does this symbol work you can easily draw this now input is a the output is going to be a bar that's all if the input is 0 output is going to be 1 if input is 1 output is going to be 0 how sir this is open so when i give positive pulse it will be open when i close it uh, when i close it it will be open when i open it it will be closed and light will glow when i give supply the light won't glow when i cut the supply the light will glow that's exactly how you can remember it uh, draw the electrical circuit equivalent for and gate what is and and is very simple um i think yeah this is enough and is very simple what is and gate all about i need to have both of these true for me for me to get this glowing that's it all these are to be represented as electrical circuit equivalent instead of just uh, truth table truth table we all remember right so truth table need not be uh, i mean truth table is not just just the thing that is expected in the interview truth table is very easy so it's it's obviously better if you can represent something of this sort which is very good actually so you can see that what is and gate all about when both the inputs are one the output will be high so i need both of these to be closed for me to make the bulb glow if this is cut this won't glow so please remember it this is how we need to explain in the interview 
which gate is called as a transparent gate transparent gate is nothing but the buffer gate it is just a, a delay producing mechanism it doesn't do anything with the data bit it does no manipulation nothing what is the main purpose of the buffer gate i already told you it is just used to produce some delay that's it draw the circuit equivalent of the buffer gate it has got nothing it will just produce some delay no bit manipulation nothing no math nothing it is just a delay producing stuff what are all the universal gates nand and nor why they are called universal gates with nand and nor you can build anything any gate that you want so that's why it is called as universal gate which is the nand gate ic ic 7400 uh, this much they might not ask if at all it is not a core um, i mean if it is a core uh, electronics company they might expect you to know the ic names at least few uh, chip names you need to know in that case this should be very helpful how is nand gate constructed with an nand gate so it's pretty simple this is the mechanism that we need to go with nand to be constructed uh, from the nand gate this is an nand gate so i have got an inverter i connect these two together so i will get a nand gate this is how you need to think of during the uh, interview during the discussion do not get strangled totally by the question try the combinations you will get the output right i'll get back to you with more questions in my next session thank you for following my channel please let me know if you have any comments if you have any particular request say for example you want me to teach this topic i can do that um please subscribe and uh, tell your friends about this channel as well if you like this channel thank you very much for the support i'll get back to you with more questions thanks